since July 1, 2024. New rate for open cut is 10.8%. The ratio of underground mining is 9.8% and deep underground rate will be 8.8%. Oran Lar is currently 8.2%, 7.2% and 6%. 2. Existing discounts for underground and deep underground mining will continue. The NSW Minerals Council said that the plan would directly put a important additional impost C. Employing approximately 30,000 people directly to the industry and supporting 180,000 indirect work. Stephen Galilee, General Manager of Minerals Council, said. Although it is realistic about possibility of an increase in royal rates, coal producers continued that current copyright structure and rates should be protected during consultation process. He said, while stakeholders were afraid that increase could lead to cool or miners to cancel new projects of investor, as the Queensland experienced after his own royalties. He insisted that three-layer system would establish a more fair balance. Under the new system, a different copyright ratio is applied compared to open cut, underground and deep underground miners. We acknowledge that they would not be satisfied, but no one tells us that these changes in reality would have an impact on employment or long-term investments, he said. The feedback we receive from companies is a manageable change and we will keep companies to explain how they react. In Queensland, a similar plan emerged in the 2022 budget, and promised not to make new investments in BHP and Rio Tinto. The Palaszczuk government increased copyright rates for prices over one ton of 175 to 20 percent, 30 percent for prices above 225, and 40 percent of 300. The introduction of three new copyright layers helped to present a coal royalty rights of 1.5 billion in 202,223 years. Mr. Mookie admitted there were some assumptions on coal prices with miners, but said he was convinced that low tax rates in NSW have established a balance between company sustainability and gained a fair return for the resources of the state. The government will use extra income to reconstruct the basic services such as addressing housing supply, filling 11-12 nursing positions, providing state wards and children out of home and providing sufficient teachers in schools. The collected funds will also be directed to new renewable energy infrastructure of the government. Under flag of basic services. Natural Resources Minister Courtney Hauso said in the government's decision that he was hit the right balance. The government of Minns is determined to maintain ongoing stability of mining sector while rebuilding basic services for NSW people.